searching when keeping it real goes wrong. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to hit you with another video. Now, I want to send a big shout out to everybody this week, this Thanksgiving week, for those who are celebrating the Thanksgiving holidays. And for those who are not celebrating the Thanksgiving holidays, go check on your people, go check on your family, your baby mama, your baby daddy, your side chicken, your side dude. Go check on it because everybody needs love. Well, in the meaning of love, we have a video that talks about love, but in somewhat of, uh, you know, a different way, if you will. You know, like Twitter is known for a lot of things. Twitter is known for people expressing their opinions, people saying stuff without getting flagged or blocked anywhere else, like on other channels. And also a place where people keep a whole lot of shit up. Yes, uh, we have a man who goes by the name of Patrick Patterson. And I'm sorry that it had to be you, Mr. Patterson. Yes, from the Los Angeles Clippers. And uh, I forgot uh, Los Angeles even had a team named the Clippers. The only team I thought was in L.A. until I went there was the damn Lakers. And yes, I knew it was the Clippers there, but the Clippers ain't did shit. The Clippers ain't had a chance since Elton Brand and also since uh, Chris Paul. And Elton Brand been left the Clippers, so we know how long ago that's been. But anyway, you know, since the beginning of time, uh, certain men have had a thing called, uh, things they can't resist. They have had kryptonite. You know what I'm saying? And it's said that black men kryptonite is what white women. And I'm sorry, this is not to be racist. I'm not racist. And as you can see for yourself, I am mixed. You feel what I'm saying? Yes, I am. I am mixed. And I'm proud of it. I love it. I wouldn't care if I was purple. I would still love it. But one thing that I do not agree with is downing another race while trying to big, big up another race that you're married to. It's just like if I married uh, uh, a Puerto Rican woman and I wanted to I wanted to down all the Indian women, I wanted to down all the black women. How am I going to do that when I got Indian and black in me also? But this is what some people do. And I'm glad that people call this man out. Mr. Patrick Patterson called him out yesterday. He hurried up and apologized. He was basically said that he basically categorized all black women when uh you had a guy who was basically asking him on the internet, you know, why was he marrying, why was he with this uh woman? Uh, and as you can see, she's a white woman. Now, I wouldn't care who the man really went. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even make the video if he wouldn't call black women bulldogs. He basically labeled the whole race of women as bulldogs. And as you can see, uh, last time I checked, he is black his damn self. So I don't know. Where that come from? So the guy basically asked him to make a long story short. He says, uh, basically, but it's not that, bro. You grew up loving our women. Why wait till you grow? I mean, why wait till you get some real money for your perspective? And even if you wasn't in the NBA, worked at Walmart in Toronto, you wouldn't stand a chance, bro. You just become another statistic. I bet she's the only one in, your, in her family history to date a black state Woke, my guy. You know what I'm saying? He basically told this man, some guy by Mafia Material, BWA. I don't know anybody with Mafia Material. You probably don't want to respond back to them. You don't know who they connected to. But anyway, so he basically telling Mr. Patterson that if you wasn't in the NBA, you worked at Walmart, this woman wouldn't even look your damn way. And that's true for a lot of other people. A lot of these people, when they get to a certain level in life, they figure they got to do like the OJ Simpsons and all the people from the past. The first thing they run and go get is a white woman. And I'm not being racist. By a long shot. Not all the NBA players do. Not all the movie stars do. Because more the NBA players do this. NFL players do. Uh, Michael Strahan, even though he got divorced and everything. And also, a couple, few more people. Movie stars, actors. And like I said, you can date who you want to raise. I mean, you can date who you want to date. This is no uh, attempt to being racist or anything like that. This is no attempt to try to shame anybody. But still, though, you don't down another race. Just because you married into a, another race. And the guy made a very good point because we know, we know that a lot of these people consider some of these women as their trophy wives. That's what they call their trophy wives. Just like, and may she rest in peace, like a, uh, Nicole Simpson that was married to OJ Simpson. He considered her his trophy wife. And I don't know why they do that. Some of them do that or whatnot. Why couldn't a woman of your own color be your own trophy wife? And true, if you think that the grass is greener on the other side, wait till you get to the other side and, and check and see. You're going to see that. All women 
come with shit with them. You know what I'm saying? Meaning they all have problems. Just like every race of men have a problem. There is no perfect person in this world. There's no perfect wife. There's no perfect husband. And if you try to base that off color, you're in for a huge disappointment. I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story so we can get a clear understanding of what Mr. Patrick Patterson said and also why he was so quick to apologize. I'm going to give my opinion. Surely, as we go, NBA player called black women bulldogs. Bulldogs. And you call somebody a bulldog, that's the thing to call them a what? A bitch. If you ask what I'm saying, meaning they're mean, they walk around mad all the time. You know, like the stereotype things to uh, Tyler Perry in the uh, Madea movies. Uh, Black women have these attitudes and all this other stuff. You feel what I'm saying? Yes, he helped bring it to the forefront. That's why I said that, Tyler Perry. But anyway, NBA player calls black women bulldogs while defending Miss race marriages. I'm not defending a damn thing, just right and wrong. You feel what I'm saying? Because you can look and tell that I'm mixed as they come. And I'm proud of it. You feel what I'm saying? It wouldn't matter if I was jet black. I would still love myself. It wouldn't matter if I was pure white. I would still love my damn self. That's the whole point. But you don't down nobody trying to look good in front of the person you married into. I don't understand that part right there. But anyway, Patrick Patterson of the Los Angeles Clippers called flack for speaking negatively about black women while defending his mixed race marriage. And like I said, he can marry anybody he want to. That's the whole point. But you could not tell me, Patrick, with this tough ass face, ain't no way in hell he could have got this woman. And true, they got black women out here just as pretty, if not prettier, than his wife. Now, I'm not trying to judge nobody's wife. I'm not trying to talk down on nobody's wife. You feel me? That is not what I do. But you got women pretty that is of all colors. You got pretty women that are Indian. You got pretty women that are Puerto Rican, uh, Latino, Hispanic, however you want to say it, uh, Chinese, white, or whatever else. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But we're not going to sit up here and belittle one race of people just because we married into another race of people. That is the problem. But anyway, the incident began after Patterson posted an image on Instagram of his wife, Sarah Nasser or Sarah Nasser. I don't know why her name ain't last name Patterson. What's up with that, Patrick Patterson? Why don't she have your last name? But I know some women do for uh, certain reasons. But anyway, who happens to be white, as you can tell? No shit, Sherlock. Anyway, several Instagram users responded to the post, and one person suggested that Nasser would not have married Patterson if he did not make it to the NBA. And show his shit stink, because if it don't, you better go to the doctor and check again. Uh, it shows his stink. You can best believe that's pretty true. And you got some women out here who are black and just as fine and exotic looking and still wouldn't give him the time of day also. So you got to also add that in there too because you got some women out here who are of his same color who wouldn't even give him the time of day because some of them think they all that too. But it's true. It's true. Certain races of people are not going to marry you if you ain't got no money. But when you got money, the world is your oyster. You can go have any damn thing you want. You feel what I'm saying? You have women all over the world. But guess what though? Guess what though? Just because you think they're from another country or from uh, this certain background, don't think. They don't know the color of money. They don't know what money means. <laughs> anyway, he's, uh, somebody says, bro, you grew up loving our women. Add Mafia material uh, under hash BWA wrote. Why wait until you get some real money? If you weren't in the NBA and worked at Walmart, you wouldn't stand a chance, bro. And from the look of his face, and I don't judge men. You feel what I'm saying? No, I don't. But... That's a tough face right there. Why do these NBA players have these tough-ass faces? Some of them be losing hair up here like LeBron James. You feel me? Why do they age so damn quickly in the NBA? You be like, is these people really their age or they older? I think they older. That's why a lot of them be retired in their damn 30s. I'm not going to talk too much. But anyway, let's continue. So, Patterson responded to the critic with this about black women. Now, he just jumped all on black women's shit instead of, uh, defending his position while he married this woman. Only he had to say, look, I love her. It's none of your business. But he did not do that. And that's the key thing I want to point out in this whole video. The only thing he had to do, since he is black himself, of course, is to say this. Look, I love Sarah. Sarah is my one and only. She is my pride and joy. You know what I'm saying? I lay down my jacket so she could walk over a puddle. Stuff like that. You feel me? You don't have to sit up here and go on and down your own race of women. And he says this right here, Mr. Patrick Patterson of the sorry ass Los Angeles Clippers. And my people that are Los Angeles Clippers fans, I'm sorry, but you know the Lakers run LA. Anyway, so I should settle for a bulldog and act like I'm happy with my life and preach Keep it in your own race to the world as if Dr. Martin Luther King didn't fight 
and die for equality. Now, what in the fuck Dr. Martin Luther King got to do with this right here? I don't know what Dr. Martin Luther King had to do with this right here because I, I thought Dr. King said, I, had a, I have a dream that one day, Little black boys and little white girls, something like that. You feel what I'm saying? Basically, you can walk hand in hand. I didn't know he meant hand in hand for his marriage, but that's the case. That's fine because I'm not trying to sit up here and tell nobody you shouldn't marry who. All I'm saying is that respect your own people, just like you respecting Sarah people. You feel what I'm saying? You respect you respect her white side. Why not respect your black side? Why throw your own race up under the bus? But anyway, for him to say, so I should settle. Do you know what settle mean? Settle. For a bulldog. Now you call the women a bulldog. We know what a, a, a female dog is. What? It's a bitch. You feel what I'm saying? But why would you do that? I don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? And you can't tell me that some of these people, when well, the first thing they get some money, they try to, and I don't blame them for moving out the hood because you get robbed and killed in the damn hood. But they ain't the point. They try to change everything about themselves like they ain't come from the hood or try to change the type of women that they like because you have a more of a choice of different type of women that you would have never had a chance to get in the first damn place because they see money. You feel what I'm saying? That's all they see is money. Anyway, he goes on to say acceptance. All cultures loving one another and no hate. That makes that may be your life, excuse me, but I don't want that for mine or for my family. Color doesn't matter. But why call the women a bulldog? So you should settle for a bulldog when you refer to black women. You see what I'm saying? Women that are your color, not Sarah color. He says, wake up. No, you need to wake up. Why are the people that telling the people to wake up are the most people that is asleep? But guess what? The NBA must have got a hold of Patrick and said, boy, you better get out there and do some damn damage control because they finna come after us. You don't want to mess with these black women in America because they powerful than the black men for us coming together and speaking out. Okay, you better look at R. Kelly and them. Anyway, now, right after, Patterson apologized for the comments. He must have went home, and he must have got about a whole slew of phone calls, about 10 phone calls back to back. And he hurried up and went on there. He went on there at 12.07 p.m. He didn't waste no time. The post just been up for like a couple of hours. He says, I want to address my use of the word bulldog. Doing a conversation with someone who I felt was making disrespectful remarks about my wife in our relationship. He wasn't making disrespectful remarks. He didn't call your wife ugly. He didn't call her any racist words that I'm not going to use because I'm not racist. I don't play like that. He didn't say anything out of line like that. He was basically questioning, questioning your integrity. He was basically questioning you and looking at that tough face of you and looking at that woman and be like, oh, hell no. You ever been somewhere and you seen somebody that was Totally bad build, totally just butt hurt ugly, and with the with with a, with a pretty woman or a handsome man, you feel what I'm saying? And you be wondering why are they with them? Cause money, money, you feel what I'm saying? They got that bread. But anyway, he also goes on to say, I responded with the same, making a cruel comment, but you didn't respond with the same. The man did not call Sarah or white women bulldogs. You call black women. Bulldog. So you not you did not respond respond the same. So who do you think you're talking to? First graders, you must do. He says, I responded with the same, making a cruel comment on his wife's physical stature. No, you didn't make it on his wife's physical stature. You did not even know what the man wife look like. You made that in a generalization of black women as a whole when you said bulldogs. But anyway, he goes on to lie some more and says, I know that two wrongs don't make it right. But let me, but let my emotions. But I let my emotions, excuse me, get the better of me in the heat of the moment, like after seven. For that, I apologize to him, his wife, and the rest of his family for the hurtful and cruel comments made on that day. Do that sound sincere? Then he goes on to say some more. As I did in the rest of the conversation thread multiple times, I will clarify again that I was not using the term as a reference to black women. Then why don't you bring it up so you should settle for a bulldog when the man is talking about you marrying a white wife? What did you mean, Patrick? That's all I want to know. He said, that is not at all how I feel. Then why you say it then? The mouth speaks what's in the heart. I love my black people. Yes, yeah, we see. But anyway, he said, but I do not need to justify to the world that I love my black people. I have no animosity or business towards any race. I believe in love and equality. We know you believe in love and equality, and so do I. And you can love who you want to love. So that's what I want you to take away from this video. But the main thing that you did, you messed up as, you took this generalization topic 
as using bulldog to describe women because you did not even know how this man's wife looked because y'all just conversating back and forth. He don't have pictures all over the internet like you do of your wife because he's not famous like you. So I don't understand how could Patrick say that he was talking about this man's wife when he didn't see the man's wife. But we can clearly see your wife. And by the way, she is a nice looking woman. But still, though, you don't throw your own race of people under the bus trying to big up another race. We know what you meant when you said black women or bulldogs, just like you know what you meant. And I'm sure Miss Sarah in her heart, she knows also. But anyway, my people in the comment section, let me know what you all think about this. And why do some people get money? They all of a sudden, they change it. They don't want to have nothing to deal with their, the race that they come from. You feel what I'm saying? But you can do what you want to do with your money. Remember that. You feel what I'm saying? And you can love who you want to love. I understand that. I'm not telling you not to love who you want to love. But why do people feel the need to throw their own race on the bus when they're not even married to their own race of people? Let me know in the comment section. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, you all stay blessed and have respect for everybody. You feel what I'm saying? We're all on this planet together. You feel what I'm saying? If God meant for us to be a part, he would have made us on one, one race of people on this planet, one race of people on another planet. No, I'm not saying that we should love each other or get along because we should, but, but respect uh, your own race just like you do Sarah race. That's all I'm trying to say. And I hope that you all understand it. Anyway, you all take care. I'm out.